Hello, everyone. Sorry, I'm a little bit late here. It's Craig at Epcot. It is day one of a taste of Epcot International Festival of the Arts here for 2021. And we are going to have a day. That's all I'm gonna start with here. We're gonna have a day. So it is the start of the festival today, the festival season of 2021. Very, very exciting. There is a ton going on. I've already been here since the park opened up first thing in the morning at uh, 11. I've already actually had a couple food items and I have, uh, I, I've looked around and I've seen some of the stuff. So it's going to be a pretty jam packed, uh, it's gonna be a pretty jam packed couple of hours here for me trying to show you everything. Just get a glimpse. Uh, it's, it's getting very busy very quickly and there is just so much ground to cover. So we've got a lot to see, a lot to do. Hopefully we'll run into some of the members of the team here if they let me know where they are throughout the day. I know Fiasco is here with his wife. Denny will be here today. Rhino will be here today. So hopefully they'll be nice and text me and tell me where they are so I can meet up with them so they can say hi throughout this. And yeah, we'll, we'll take it from there. So I apologize already. Uh, I know I was late getting started with the stream. It doesn't matter if you're re-watching it later, but if you're watching now, I apologize for being a little bit late. I had to run back to my car to grab headphones because it is very windy today. We had a, another little mini front go through Florida, so it's uh, the temperatures here are really good. Let me see what it is right now. 64 degrees right now, high of 66 today, and uh, it's just windy, so I wanted to grab my headphones so that way I would hopefully cut down on some of the wind here. And hello to everyone who is joining me. I saw Trey, Jillian, Sarah, uh, Amy, lots of you. Thank you for joining me. Robin, hello. For everyone who's watching this so far, please remember to uh, give us a thumbs up here. Say thank you to me for starting this. And then uh, also make sure you're subscribed and of course, I'll give you the pitch early before we get too busy into this. Dreams Unlimited Travel, if you're planning an upcoming Disney vacation, whether it's Disney Cruise Line, Walt Disney World, think about using Dreams. Supporting them means you're supporting us. So let's get started. Just got the message from Denny. Denny is somewhere in the World Showcase. So we'll try to track her down. And hello, everyone else. Hello, Regina. Hello, Lou. Hello, D. McGee. Hello to everyone. What mini ears am I wearing today, Jeremy? I am no mini ears for me today, but I am wearing my, my, my flat cap, my flat newsboy cap. So if you're looking for me, then you're going to find the guy who is wearing a gray shirt and dressed like he should be slinging newspapers back in the the 1900s. Whether it's the early 1900s or the late 1900s, that's your call, but that's what I'm slinging. Okay, we're coming up on our first taste of Epcot International Festival of the Arts. The expression section, the paint by number, and it's happening daily until five o'clock. So, just here is everyone painting, of course, in little different blocks. I'm going to show off what it's going to look like real quick here. Don't want to get in everyone's way who's actually doing it, but yeah, they have it obviously blocked off into certain sections. Right now they're using the odd numbers, one, three, five, and seven. 
people will paint those sections and then I'm assuming once they're filled, then they will switch off and they will uh, they'll go ahead and do the do the evens. Let me see. If, let me see if I can grab one of these to show it off better. Do you mind if I grab one? Yes. Thank you. Let's take it back here. And So that is apparently what this will all look like one day. Or it's a little bit of it. I'm not quite sure. But look at that. Now I got my, my souvenir and I didn't volunteer. I feel bad about it. Guys, don't rat on me. Don't tell them that I, I asked and took one of the, the little handouts and didn't actually participate. Thank you for saying that, Brian, and thank you everyone for tuning in. I know it's been, it's been just a downright awful week and I'm gonna try to be as positive and as uh, far from pessimistic as I can be today. And I, I'm, I'm gonna do my best. So I hope that I hope that we can at least make some people happy today. I don't want to distract from what is necessarily happening in the world because it's still very important to know what's going on and and connect with it and not just ignore it, but at the same time I know there's only so much we can take from time to time and every now and then we just we need to laugh. We need to have some fun, so hopefully I'll be able to do a little bit of that for you. And we can kick the weekend off in a, in a decent way. So there's Joy. Hi, Joy. Aww. Oh, she's so excited. Thank you for being here, Joy. Yeah. Oh. She's doing her... Uh, Hopscotch, I guess. Is that what that was? I don't know games. She is cute. Oh, she's flying. She is flying. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, I do understand the irony when I said that there was a lot to see and do today, so I can't waste much time. And now I'm just standing here watching Joy, but she's, she's just so happy. Hi, Tamara. Oh, she's going first one or fishing, one or the other. Always love watching her. Thank you for tuning in. Jenny and Kelly and everyone who's watching right now. I really do appreciate it. And if you're at work right now, and this is your way of you know, escaping from the day, slacking off a little bit, thank you for being here. There's the, uh, the yellow Mickey ear popcorn bucket that everyone's been talking about lately. Very cool. I still have mine, my blue one that I got back at the start of the 60th anniversary at Disneyland. And I, I love it. I might get rid of it though. I don't know. I don't need popcorn buckets in my life anymore. I bought way too many and now I have no place to store any of the popcorn buckets. So I, I will, I will start getting rid of them one day. I vow to it, but I'm not going to just throw them out. I'm either going to donate them. Did I not say balloon? I know Kim just said the popcorn bucket looks like a balloon. That's what it's supposed to look like. If I didn't say balloon, I don't know where my head was at. Oh, there we go. I don't have to now try to awkwardly model off the figment. 
wings here, so the little photo up that they have. It's very cute. Of course, they have adult size, size versions and then kid size versions there. Yeah, I do like the, the regular popcorn buckets still. I'll buy them every time. Every, every now and then from time to time when there's one that I, I really enjoy because like those can be used for popcorn actually. You know, you can sit there and snack on some popcorn on the couch with them. Uh, I also enjoy that they, they can like hold utensils on your, your, your kitchen or in an office, wherever. They're, they're easy to put stuff in, but some of the bigger, more extravagant ones, I just, I don't have a lot of room for anymore. And yeah, I need to, I'll either donate them for one of our auctions or just, I, I'm going to try to make sure they go to, go to a good home when I do get rid of them to people who actually care about them and want them and maybe couldn't afford them at the time. There we go, nice. The, uh, the photo up there of, oh gosh, my, my art skills are wrong. It's the Venus, right? Someone, someone tell me what it is. It's the... Uh, Both like Venus. Yeah, it, it's... <laughs> but... <laughs> I should know more about a lot of classical art. I really love it, and I'm very interested in it. I'm even uh, not proud to say that I had to take classic art architecture and music twice in college because I decided that I did not want to uh, go to class a lot the first time I took it and failed it miserably. I don't think I failed. I think I got a, like a D minus. The birth of Venus. Thank you. So I should know, I should be an expert when it comes to art since I had to take that class twice. But, you know, I'm getting old. I'm forgetting things. So if here, of course, here we have the, uh, the Epcot inspired photos, not photos, paintings, but uh, different ones from Jimmy Pickering and Morgan Lee Richardson. Start with uh, Journey into Imagination there. Very, very cute. Love the World of Motion one, especially Morgan's take on it. It's like, it's very cool how it, it, has those elements of the ride hidden in there as well beyond to like test track but it's still pretty hidden but jimmy's is also good having the the uh the sea serpent dragon living seas i mean it is what it is they're both good all of these are good so even if i don't have a a super excited response that doesn't mean i don't love it it's just i have more to say about some than the other like universe of energy I know Rhino will be over here at some point today getting a photo in front of what he will deem dinosaur wall. Because you know Rhino loves a good dinosaur. Horizons. Absolutely love it too. Representing the three endings there on the right with Morgans. But I also appreciate Jimmy's. It's a, it's a fun take there. Oh my gosh, this might be one of the highlights for me here, the, the land. Um, the one on the left, Jimmy's, is just, that is stunning. Uh, that is so beautiful. Like, it's a very abstract take on the land, obviously, but I, I'm obsessed with that. And I, I love Morgan's, too. I love those colors. So much fun. And wrapping it up with Spaceship Earth. Classic, simple. Morgan definitely tied into what it looks like there now, but just perfect. I love that wall. A good wall. Sorry, I got a little lost there in the paintings, everyone. Thank you for joining me. If you are just now here, welcome to the party. We're going to have a lot of fun today. Hopefully we're going to be entertained. We've got more of the uh, photo spots here. We've got butterfly wings all the way down across. Oops, sorry about that. 
So that's a good example of what the butterfly shot's supposed to look like without making that person feel awkward that I'm clearly just getting a shot of her being a model there. And one more right there, boom. There we go. That is all, I think, hit two out of three with, with someone representing it so that way we could see. I mean, we all know what it's gonna look like anyways. I don't know why I'm acting like we need someone standing in front to understand the point of it, but. We're gonna get ready to start heading into World Showcase, but I wanted to then show, this is the, the big display here before walking into World Showcase. Figment all over the place. Figment, figment galore. Cannot, cannot get enough figment. At least I can. So there is a lot more happening over that way by test track and such, but we'll hit that after we're done with, with our loop and finishing up. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna keep us from where some of our other team members are in World Showcase and where a lot of the entertainment is. So I hope you're okay with that. We will hit it eventually. And I just saw a question if we're going to the boardwalk. Not today. Today is just all about Festival of the Arts. Boardwalk, we'll do that on another day. We'll, uh, we'll do another uh, park hopping adventure at some point in time and spend more time walking around the resorts because that was a lot of fun. I won't even, maybe I'm not even gonna park hop with it. Maybe I'm just gonna walk around the resorts. But we have more, more butterfly wing walls here. It's little ones. Like it, so cute. So, so cute. And right as we start walking through here, we're getting into chalk art country where it looks like a lot of the chalk art was already done. I know there's still artists out here. Uh, actually, there's still a lot of artists out here making chalk art, but this is, this is where it's all happening. So of course we got the red rose here from Beauty and the Beast. Very, very nice. Just great perspective on that. Take a peek over here at some of the other ones. Gonna, there we go. That's probably the easiest method for Showing them off, going under the rope. I really love that Sorcerer Mickey. It's a good one. Huh, it's a schooner. Love watch, watching a schooner. Very nice. And show off the last couple ones down here. Well, no, that one got ruined. Bad water. Come on, Aaron X. You should know that a schooner is a sailboat. Okay, we're gonna cut back over now to where the other chalk artists are currently at, just to get a glimpse. There we got a mini mouse in action. Trying to get my shadow away from there. Just beautiful. Excellent job. Stand there and 
watch all day. Okay, Ooh. big wind gusts coming through here. The temperature right now, it's still probably, without looking at my watch, we're still looking at somewhere around 60, 64 degrees. When the sun is not out, it is, it's, it's perfect. When the sun's out, it's a little on the warm side, but uh, the wind is helping things cool down. So now's where I need your input. Are we going left or are we going right? Tell me which way I should go. I'll, I'll pause here for a second and, and wait for you guys to tell me which way to go. So right, left, right, left, right. See more right still, but then a couple more lefts. Another Canada for right. We got a left, we got a left. Go to right, I think it's pretty even. Right, 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 left. Uh, left, right, right. Uh, I feel like the rights are outweighing it. So we're going right, people. We're going right. We're going right. I'm sorry. The rights have it in this case. Going to Canada. I wish we can come up for with new terms for directions. What What are the ship ones? Uh, starboard and port. I'm going to just start talking in ship talk. Okay, that was some soap. And here's our first food booth here. Ahoy hoy. Decadent Delights. They have raspberry soft serve ice cream and lemon soft serve ice cream here and a couple beers. I am going to be focusing on this live stream today, so I probably won't be drinking. Also, it's not the weekend yet. I know Friday is the weekend for some people, but I am, I am taking my dry January pretty seriously, so I'm not drinking on weekdays, only Saturday and Sunday. I'll probably make a, an exception for, uh, for Monday when Ohio State's in the national championship, but that's about it. So, gotta take care of my health. But trust me, I would love to be drinking some delicious cooled beers right now. And Citrus Blossom, the booth that won't go away with the orange bird sipper that also won't go away. I wish it would go away at this point so that way it was somewhat unique, but no, nope. we're gonna just let it, let it be. So we've got a, hi. We've got a ridiculously long line here for what will probably be one of the items that a lot of people wanna try here at the festival. That's the lobster poutine. And I regret now not getting this earlier because I was going to, but I didn't have enough time before the live stream started. But yeah, now this line is super long. Lobster poutine there, lobster, lobster bisque cheese sauce, pickled jalapenos and citrus cream on there. Uh, it, the sad part is the toppings look delicious except it's served on crappy Disney French fries, which it just needs to be better. So if you're gonna load up those fries, load it with good French fries, actually. And the one thing I did really wanna try when I come back for beer, the Barrel of Monk's Raspberry Beret. Uh, I don't know whose idea it was there to put Prince lyrics, a Prince song as the name of a beer, but I am all for it. And that happens to be my favorite Prince song as well too so even better but yeah that's the line going back very popular very very popular and i was watching it earlier which is why i didn't get it yet but the line is also moving very slow so it's just taking taking quite a bit and 
We're up here to our first Disney gallery, and here is a good idea of what it's gonna look like for a, a lot of the rest of the day. It's already super busy here, but this is our checkout section. And right now it looks like Will Gay's back there signing some of his work. But here is how it's working. You're gonna wait in your line. And then once you wait in line, you get to come inside and look at all the prints they have available up on the wall. And you can pick out the ones you want. Go around there. And then you'll take it and you'll go check out. And like in this case, if you bought something of Will's and you want it signed, then obviously that's where you want to do it. But yeah, hopefully it gets a little slower as we get further back so I can show off a little more because I don't have time to just wait in lines all day, but I want you to be able to see some of the art. So I hope this is okay for at least the time being, but I don't want to spend all day just waiting in line to get a closer look and then also buy nothing. Coming up here to Canada, our great neighbors to the north. Menu here, the Masterpiece Kitchen. We have the wild mushroom risotto, salmon and cream gâteau vanilla, rose water, and pistachio panna cotta. All these menu items have been around here before for this festival. If I remember the vanilla, rose water, and pistachio panna cotta was okay. I'd have to go back and watch my video on it. I think I said it was okay in risotto. Not always. Not always bad. Not always great. I feel like I'm ultra critical on risotto because that's what they're always critical about when you're watching any cooking show. The risotto is the make or break item. But very good, very nice. Hey, how's it going? Okay, the next Disney Artist Gallery coming up here. I think everyone's in line for this one here, which seems, again, very, very long, but see whose art is in here, what people are going crazy for. Now, maybe they weren't in line. Doesn't look like they're in the line now. I don't know, I can't tell. So, got some. Take a peek right there, give you a closer look at some of the items. I love that up piece. Paradise Falls and the Jug, the Adventure Book. I am a sucker for up artwork. The Kylie and I have a large up wall in our house. I'm able to get in a little closer to this one. I guess all those people weren't in line. They were just standing on the side there. Very cool. Thank you. Very, very nice. No, you're okay. Thank you. Oh, hey. Hi, guys. We found Denny. Hi there. I don't know how well they can hear you because my headphones are in, but. Okay, perfect. Tell them me, I said hi, please. I will. Where? Which way are you going? Um, I've already been all the way around uh -huh. and went back to World Show Place, so I am free to do whatever. Okay. Well, I'm going to pull this then for a second. Okay. Let's. Oh, sorry for the little glitch there. So now you can. Hi guys. Okay. Luckily, it doesn't seem to be that windy here right now, too. Yeah, but. It, it, it was earlier. Very windy right here. Yeah. Okay. My hubby says we can hear you well. So. I should have left the headphones in then. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why the. Yeah, it is. Are they art jamming now today? Artistic flair in okay. what they said at the beginning. Okay. Believe it or not, 
Hi, everybody. That was just an appetizer. All right? Fellas, beat me up that other beat, man. Oh, yeah. It is very crowded. Thank you. What? Atrocious. Yeah, those are the distancing markers, even though most people aren't using them. I can't really argue right now because I'm not using them. But we're so far back, there's no more markers. Okay, I've got to move on. I, I just got to. I'm moving on. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Chef. What's up, Chef? What was happening in uh, in the show place, Denny? Of the food studios and several artists are in there. Dave Evanzina is in there oh. and others. So it's pretty cool. I'm going to walk inside. Okay. You don't have to. You've already been in. I what else? Are you just waiting for Rhino? Um, I'm going to go back around. I'm going to do the animation... Um, the little animation demonstration they're doing in the America Gardens Pavilion. Oh. They're doing it at 1230, which obviously I'm not going to be at, and yeah. 130, which I ate. 130, okay. I'll make sure I'm there for that too. And I am going to eat, I'm going to sample everything at yeah. the new booth, um, Vivado y Verbronte. Okay. As well. Yeah. That's on my list. I already so far, you'll see it in the dining video that's released on youtube.com slash Disney Dining. I already had the um, the tomato soup with uh, French onion and bacon oh, grilled cheese, bacon. as oh. well as the pork belly pastor. Oh, but wow. I think I already posted my reviews on Twitter as well too. Okay, so good. they're they're there. Yep. If you want to know now without waiting. Okay. Wow. It's still the same place, but just slightly different. So as Denny said, Dave Avanzino there. Uh, a friend of the Diz. Yeah. It is. Exactly. You know, and it's all, everyone's meeting and greeting. It's all done safely. So I'll try to get a little bit closer here so you can see some of his artwork. So Dave's thing is, you've probably seen it if you look back at the older shows, but he does your name in Disney theme park letters. And uh, it's very, very cool. Then he does other paper artwork in like three dimensions. Looks good on prints, but if you have an original where you see that depth, it's just really neat. It's very neat. Very nice. We're going to keep going inside here a little further. We've got one of the live art dancing presentations happening right now. We'll get there in a second. Of course, Larry Dodson, his artwork here. Everyone always loves Larry Dodson. Very interesting. It says, please refrain from photography on his booth. Most people don't care because it's free advertising, but... I figured I did not want to go here because Denny, I thought you were gonna do Remy's Ratatouille I for will. sure. You I are? Will at some okay. Point. Okay. I will. Yeah, it's. I love. So I'll go here and show the photo of it so people can see the beautiful part of Remy's Ratatouille. If it looks like this in person, is that it actually looks like it does in the movie? Which that's and incredible. Hopefully that is the case because if they. If they actually accomplish it in a mass, in a mass way, then that's just a, a plus on them. Then here, T 
take too long and I'm like, I just want, I want to see it. Just, just finish it. Performance art isn't your thing. Performance art is, I mean, it is because I like performing arts. I don't think I like performing arts when it comes to painting and performing. So. Okay, we'll take a quick look around here. So we've got, start on, we'll kind of go back and forth. Krina, I will look for a Krina back that way. So we've got some Noah fine art here. Amy, if you see us as you're, you're making your way around, please yell at us. Hello, welcome to the party. Oh, that Boba Fett one. That's good, I like that. I'm not always a fan of Noah's work, but I love, I love me a Boba Fett. Got this cutesy. Oh, who's the artist on these? Is it Noah too? Oh, it is Noah. Yeah. It's cute. Yeah. Let's take a look at more of this. This festival is running until February 22nd. Just all of this stuff is always so beautiful. I just, who has the wall space for this much? Oh, but that Kermit. Even I like the, uh, the Stitch Tiki one there. He's still waiting for my donut shops. Okay, uh, DG Donuts. The salty donut, those are, those are the main two that right now I'm recommending. Or a lot of people know too, it's a little further out, but Donut King. Donut King is actually probably the closest to what you'll get at, um, at Everglazed in terms of the quality but the price is literally a fraction. Yeah, you have to, you just have to drive super far, so you make it up in gas, I guess. Yeah. Love a lot of this stuff. I like that. I like this figment guy. I think he's got some stain power. Look at that shirt. It's a little too bold for me, but. Denny loves a good rhyming pun. Figment loves pigment. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm digging it, I'm digging it. I will not buy anything, but I like it. Not one thing? No. No. Got a limited release Turvis. That would be pretty much the only thing I'd get because I'm, I'm addicted to Turvis. I have way too many. It's all very pretty. It's just... There we go, we got the, the pass holder shirts. Thank you. 
under the shirt, the five year anniversary. Denny, working in the wild. Uh, <laughs> That was a really great Sasquatch Thank impression. You. That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice asshole. Yeah. Uh, Pete will not be here, Denny, this side of the rope. Okay, I'm trying to Come on. Come on. Hurting chickens. That's all we're doing. No. Pete is not here today, unfortunately. He had a doctor's appointment, so he had to cancel. So, none of the videos produced from here today will have Pete in. Oh, they're carrying it away, but they fi he finished Mickey. So, apparently, he decided to get really quick there while we were working on the... Looking at it, oh, grab it before it's gone forever. Goodbye, Mickey. It's been nice. Hope you find your paradise. Very good. Hey. How are you? I've been stopping you guys for about an hour trying to catch up. Oh, excellent. Nice to meet you, Audrey. Nice to meet you, Audrey. I'm Craig. <laughs> yeah, get it. Exactly. Otherwise, we'll have to wait another eight months from now to get pumpkin again. <laughs> Thank you so much. So nice meeting you. Take care. Okay, well, I'm walking by. I don't want to creep again, but I'm looking at... Yep, they were able to do it. Did you see that ratatouille? It looks... Yeah. It looks exactly like it does on the picture. That's amazing. Yeah. I know, people always give me a hard time about my personality, but like, I, I stand by the statement I say a lot with this. Who's actually having fun while they're working? It's, it's work, it's not supposed to be fun. It's work. You gotta get it done. Yeah, so, okay. I'm gonna, I don't know how to actually get in here, so I'm just gonna walk in. This is it, you're doing the right thing. Yeah. There's like four different entrances. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay. So, our last little bit here. Well, hello, Olivia. And we got the Thomas Kincaid collection. I love how, like, just nonchalantly, Denny rolls off the tongue, the painter of light, of course. He does have Marvel now. Yeah, I like it. Well, we have one by the door, and then we have one like, by the back door, and then one by the bathroom. The painter of light, of course. Yeah. Yeah, got Really branched out. Yeah. I just hate that they decided to... Um, memorialize one of the worst parts of one of the worst movies ever but you know what yeah that's if you enjoyed rise of skywalker well denny don't mess with me right now just so cute just wants just wants a cheeseburger or something i don't know It's a cheeseburger frog. Okay. Rhino will be along. Yvonne's asking where Rhino is. He will be here. 
Rhino. Other things yeah. he had to work on first. We don't know what that means. Uh, yeah, we will run into Fiasco too at some point. He's working on, Fiasco is working on the dining channel video right now. So he is taking care of the food reviews today. I, I did mention that I was doing a food review. I already filmed my parts. So I'm just going to uh, send those to Fiasco. So that way he can insert them in. But yeah, that's, so I'll be a part of it too in that way, but that's what he's working on right now. So we'll see him. We'll see him when we find him. He knows how to get in touch. And plus Denny's with me too, so we could always text him at some point, but we're, we're, we got Denny here right now. So let's appreciate what we have currently. Yeah, okay, here we go, Denny. We got another photo spot. This is the... Uh... Hey, thank you very much. Yes, yes. Where were you when I needed help on the uh, Birth of Venus by... Oh, yeah, yeah. The yeah. Was, that was interesting that it's in the future. Yeah. I just kept saying over and over again, Hey, how are you, Jeff? Hey, how are you? Very good. How are you? How are you doing? Hi, there. How are you doing? It's been forever. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Where's Val at? Okay. Thank you. Good morning. Have fun today. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's getting very busy out front, so, yeah, right. but I'm hoping a little bit better once we get further back here. Sure. Yeah. I got, I got here at, right at 11, actually, just 15 minutes before that. Yeah. Yep. Yes. That's where I'm at. And they like change their minds like oh we have to, we can actually put people a little closer <laughs> so yeah. gotta love that so valerie's gonna come with you very nice hey. i miss you guys i miss you too that's okay she's doing she's doing good so yeah she's we're getting by Yeah, you take care too. Tell Valley said hi. Love you guys. So we have holiday decorations still I up know. throughout the World Showcase. To be fair, Epiphany just happened two days ago. So my tree is still up. Your tree's still up, Denny. Yes, I know. Shame. Shame. Shame on my house. Even mine's down. Even my tree is down. You, you know what, Denny, I don't need you to think. I need you to do. Okay, let's, what's happening back? Is, is anything happening back there? Is there, isn't there a keyboardist person or something? There might be. They were queuing up for Mary Poppins back here early. Ah, uh, fish. Is that fish? Nope. Fresh. No, nope, just fresh pro tree. Pro, pro, po, not po. Okay. What am I trying to say? Produce. I got it. Denny's on the move again. She sees artwork. Oh. Yeah, and it's it's the ones that are usually where they're meeting and greeting. So that would be by the, obviously the Snow White one. 
As, as you can see, Doc did that. Oh, what one random one over there? So princesses and then... There's, well, yeah, this is, these are all sitting out where they would normally be meeting and greeting. Okay. So they, they put these out for the meet and greets, but obviously since they're not doing that, uh -huh. they decided to put these on this lawn to for... Homage. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit confused by this one. Exactly. So... Princess, princess, princess Donald. No, it's... I think he's the only non-princess meet and greet character around the World Showcase that's like a staple every day. So it makes sense in that regard. Yeah. But who's buying that Mushu actually did that? I'm not. That's giving Mushu too much credit. And this one is just bothersome. I'm, as a staunch uh, supporter of copyright laws, I don't like that Meriwether is taking credit for Floor's work. Okay. Okay. But we don't even know. We don't even know. Your concern has been noted. Yeah, oh, it's duly noted, but fast, quickly ignored. That was, that was what one of my German teachers always used to say. Your complaint is duly noted, but also ignored. Something It was something oh, along those lines like that. <laughs> I think that's actually when a lot of my sarcastic uh, sarcasm came out. Hello, Mary. <laughs> How jolly was that, huh? Just, just jolly. I don't, we got, we went the wrong way. Denny, we went the wrong way. This is embarrassing. Denny, we went the wrong way. Well, guess what? I know, everyone's going the wrong way. Yeah, I know, but it's, yeah, they need a marker there because everyone's walking up and they're gonna, they're gonna hit a wall. Yeah. She is. Although she just sets standards that no average nanny could ever achieve to be. With a brash sense of uh, tidiness. I don't, I don't even know what I'm saying. I feel like I just wanted to use the word brash. And so I... I started, and I quickly, quickly fell apart. You'll just have to keep an eye out for an opportunity to use it. I will. Ah. January 8th, 2021. The day I admired Christmas tea. Wonderful. Ah, uh, just, just nice, just. Yeah, the wind has backed off. It's warmed up yeah. a bit. It, the wind is definitely backed off right now. I. Come on. Put on your mask. Put on your mask. Put on your mask. Just put it on. Jesus. Where have all the cast members gone? They are still doing the, uh, the, the promenades around World Showcase. Which I've seen two of them this morning and no, nothing's been different. Yeah, yeah, that's, I, I saw the Mickey one. <laughs> the, uh, I got my food right before the cavalcade started. And the music was going for about seven minutes before they actually came up to me. And it went for like another five minutes after. 
It was so loud. Yeah. She really did need that picture, so I her friends on Instagram would have been very confused about if that was actually her. If her mask was on, be like, who, who is that? That is, well, oh no, they never, I didn't want to walk all the way down there just for that. And there's the wind. Denny, you jinxed us once again. Okay, cuisine francaise. We've got the creme de brie en petit pain, croissant à la truffle, no, D, I, I, I know it's not D, it's de, de verre. What is the next one, Denny? Molio. Okay, and trio de macarons. Very good. Very good stuff. Yeah, Denny recommends the uh, molten chocolate and raspberry cake. Very good. I'm sorry. And no, that wasn't an accent. That was just me trying to pronounce it. I really struggle with French. That's just not. French is not my, uh, it's just not my language. It does not work with me. Yes, I feel like we, I feel like we have to go do our normal ratatouille. Okay. Hopes and wishes. So my, in seventh and eighth grade, my homeroom was with our French teacher in the junior high school. And so she would talk to us in French every morning and and the problem is she always told us that every time we brought in a donut, she's like, for every donut you eat, that's a day off your life. Oh and God. so like, as much as I really loved her, she also scarred me from ever wanting to eat terribly. And so then I think I doubled down and now I eat far worse than I probably would. Yes, you might as well live it up while you can. Yep. And here's our, uh, here's our, one o'clock check-in on the Ratatouille entrance. Hey, Ron, the deal is that you are not allowed to have your mask off when you're taking pictures. You're allowed to have it off when you are eating and drinking away from other people. Yeah. So if you don't care, that's fine. But I choose to follow the rules, and I would hope that everyone else around me would too. Thank you. Yeah. And no. Little nooks and crannies throughout the world It's just so yeah. nice. So many tables now. So many tables. This is the big new food. I'm a this is the big new one? I'm a This is our big new booth. Vibrante and Vivido with the uh we've got the chilled seafood cocktail the blue corn pupusa this is that's the one that i wanted uh -huh. i really wanted that but i'll get that on another day and then the passion fruit mousse that also looks fantastic yeah very beautiful very good yeah i like it and then plenty of tables in the area Then I have to do it every single time I'm here. 
but of course then we have a, a wild sighting of Molly from All Ears. <laughs> hey Molly. <laughs> I have to do that every single time I see her. It just, it wouldn't feel right if I didn't now. Oh, okay. So here we go. One of my favorite sections. We have the Wonderground Gallery. We've got this on two side of the two sides of the rows. I don't. I'm struggling to say rows, but road. So I'm gonna pop in here so we can see it, just because I love it. Oh, I am digging that Star Tours. Captain Rex, that's amazing. And the, the McBiff Tiki piece is also incredible. Just. Just so cute. I love the, the Coco one. Oh, even a Christmas carol gets represented? Mickey's Christmas carol? How wonderful. Oh, and that's Sleeping Beauty Castle. Oh, that's stunning. Gosh. Very cool. And then some of Jared Mariyama's. Just excellent. So that's, that's that side of the road. And now Wonder Ground on the other side, as soon as I can cross safely, which difficult. Yeah, very busy, very, very congested here, but I understand why it's, Wonder Ground is always about the most popular as you can get. It's a lot of the, it seems like always very fan centric in terms of the designs i can't even get inside this one just because the line this wasn't this one wasn't really organized well that the line to the line to get in and look at the art is kind of being blocked by the the actual queue to buy merch i'm gonna i'm gonna see if i can pop in do you mind sorry thank you I hope you didn't think I was rude there when I said, do you mind? I meant that in a nice way. Like, do you mind if I can cross? Uh, I mentioned this on the, uh, on the Tuesday show this week, our friend Sam Carter. This is his artwork. He'll be here very soon. Signing it, the festival. I also always love a good Joey Chow artwork so cool okay are all the vloggers nice to each other yeah i mean we we all see each other all the time so there's really there's really no reason to not be nice i mean I don't, I guess all I can speak for is me. I, I know we don't really collaborate with other people, but that's not because I don't want to. It's just that we also have a team of all of us that sometimes it's hard representing all of our team on video, let alone other people. New umbrellas, that's what Denny's all about. New umbrellas. Denny is, she's, She's picking out the details. You know what I've said. If Denny isn't around to point out the new details, then what is the point of having Denny around at all? 
<laughs> oh, there we go. There's Fiasco. Hi. We're having an uh, awesome time eating lots of food and desserts and stuff. Yeah. Did you just eat at Mosaic Canteen? We didn't. We just no. ate at Japan and got the Stone Garden. Oh, how was that? It, it looked cute. You'll have to wait to find out. Uh, dining show will be up at some point tonight on the Disney Dining Channel. There you go. And then you'll know what we thought of the Stone Garden. Yeah. Very cool. Did you, uh, which way were you going? That way? Going or, this way. You're going this way? We might stop here. Okay. If anybody that's with us wants anything. Say it again. Not yet, but well, I was yeah. just texting It's been a great time so far. I think uh, the, the, the phrase of taste okay. of Festival of the Arts is kind of selling this short. Yeah. Because they really have a lot going on. Lots of new stuff, too. Yeah. Oh, that's exactly what I've been saying is a bit going around. I don't think I've said it yet on this video, but uh, it is just... It's like any normal event here for Festival of the Arts. This is the first one that feels like it has any other point in time. Yeah, I mean, I think like the only reason they're saying that is maybe because of the, like, the entertainment, like the live stage shows and stuff like that, like, that would be going on yeah. in festivals. But as far as the food and merch goes, it's just as good as it's always been. Yep, I would agree with that. So. You ate some stuff here today? Yeah, I had the uh, pork belly at Mexico, and I had the uh, grilled cheese and tomato soup at Pop Eats, and... I posted about it on Twitter. You'll see it on the dining show again. I know I already mentioned it once, but I'll just say it here. The pork belly was meh, not great, but the grilled cheese presentation and taste was oh boy good. Oh boy good. Yes, it was a Mickey Mouse oh boy good. And you just texted me something. I was looking to see what that was. So it's down in between France and Morocco. So oh yeah, we I'm, haven't done that. I'm yeah. going to likely hit that one up. Then I'll try to film it in second. Awesome. Cool. Cool. Appreciate you guys. No, appreciate you too. And so. Enjoy the rest of your scenic views of the Festival of the Arts. And uh, tune in for the dining show tonight. Yep. Sometime tonight. Very good. Okay. We'll see you guys. Adios. Yeah, nice to see you too. Bye. See? And that's exactly what I mean when I say it's hard to collaborate with other people because just alone here to get everything done that we're trying to do. We're going five different ways. But we have fun. We've got more art here. Metal prints and looks like more just scenic artwork photography. Beautiful stuff. I see an eagle there. Believe that was an eagle. Yes. Maybe Denny will confirm. I you were it, it was an eagle? It, it was. Okay. Denny confirms that was in fact an eagle. Now, was that a bald eagle? I think so. But his feathers were up. Yeah, he was, he was quite ruffled. Okay, that's, uh, that's the Japan one, as Fiasco mentioned, Goshiki. And I'll go over to the sign here and show you why this one's probably a standout place. There it is over there. Thank you show you why this is probably a, a go-to place for so many people. We'll see if it's on the other side here as well, too. Yep, it is. Man. Yeah. Get a little closer here in a second. Okay, I'm gonna scoot around to this side. Here we go. So yeah, that's what Fiasco got, the stone garden. It's adorable. Yeah. Beautiful, of course, this she donut returning. Uh, very popular, very classic. And you know, the one of the beautiful parts of Festival of the Arts is I do feel like they go out of their way to really try to make sure that the food looks exactly like it does in all the artwork. And more often than not, I feel like they do succeed. I apologize. I should have told you about the stone garden. Let me go over here and show you. Thank you, Becky, for pointing out my mistakes there. The stone garden is a red bean mousse with chocolate rocks for 675 and 
the rice cracker pebbles, then the sushi donut, eight twenty-five, and there's the rest of the menu as well too. And they've got the sake in the wooden cup still. If Corey's still watching this, I really want to know if he still has his wooden cup for Morimoto Asia in the grand opening for that. Because we got them the grand opening and I feel like we lost them three times throughout the night. But, okay, he still has them. It was also the night that I lost my camera three separate times. The first two times it was like, oh, it's just sitting on the booth where you left it. And then the final time it wasn't on the booth where I left it. And like a manager had finally took it back and had to come out and they made me like describe 10 different photos that were on it to prove that it was my camera. It was insane. Here at Funnel Cakes, can't see it, but yeah, it's the red velvet funnel cake and it's got the rainbow cream cheese icing topping on top. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be one that I hit at some point in time. Of course, all the, all the time I zoom in, it's right there in the window. Very nice. I'm confident it's delicious because in my experience, it's pretty difficult to screw up funnel cake. It's funnel cake, you know? It's fun. It's funnel cake. You can't screw it up. Okay, here is the lineup on the American Gardens Theater stage. We have Animation Academy at 12.30 and 1.30. Mariachi Covre at 2.35, 4.10, 5.15, and 6.20. And then Voices of Liberty doing the Disney songbook at 305, 445, 550, and 650. I'm really bummed about Voices of Liberty because I was hoping to have them on this live stream. But I will not be running still at 3 o'clock. So I, I wish we could have them on this time, but we'll have to hit them on one of the times when we come back here. Because I just... How often do the Voices of Liberty actually sing Disney songs? Never? Basically, Golden Dream? Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's a, besides Golden Dream, they don't really ever sing any other song, so I'm, I'm interested on what they kind of do. Wow. A lot of people want to do this Animation Academy. Denny, are you running in line so you can get a spot? I am. Okay. I'll see. Well, I, I probably won't go in for it, but I'll see you around. Bye. We'll continue our tour here. The artist table here in America, we have German and Dutch Renaissance inspired masterworks, Beef Wellington, Scallop, the Jumbo Cookie, and Beverages. Ah. I really thought they would have got the Christmas tree out of here already but that they did not that they did not i'm gonna go over here so we can see some of the food items that they're serving it just but listen i realize that denny is the selling point of this video i know it's not me but i just don't know how interesting it would be for me to wait in line and then do the animation academy maybe it is but Maybe it's interesting, maybe I'm wrong about this, but we're only halfway through. So that's our food items here, the beef wellington, the scallop, sipping chocolate. And then, we got more, more pixie wings, butterfly wings, whatever you want to call it. So, very nice. It's very interesting to see this line for the Animation Academy. 
show it as we walk over here more, but I have a feeling if they're able to add more times for this event, I have a feeling that they'll have to because there are so many people waiting for it, more than I've ever seen trying to watch any of the, the shows or anything that they, they usually have on the American Garden Theater stage. Here, of course, we have We have George Washington crossing that Delaware as he does. Hey, how are you? Hello, Kirk. Hey, how are you? Great. Boy, we watch you all the time. Thank We're you. So glad to see you. Oh, nice to, nice to see you too. Yeah. You having a good day? Oh, well, absolutely. It's our last day here. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Oh, it's, yeah, we are too. And we've watched your videos about this place and we haven't eaten here yet, so we're going to give it a go. Oh, you, I don't think you'll be disappointed. I hope you won't be at the very well, least. Well, I don't think you will. Yeah, it's just, uh, meat's good, sides okay. Great. And it's not going to, not going to let you down, hopefully. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. But, well, thank you so much for the support. I really You're appreciate it. Rhino and Denny, we said hello. I will. Yeah, Denny's somewhere. Oops, just hit my camera. She's somewhere in this line, massive line there. So okay, tell I'll tell you. Hello too. I will absolutely <laughs> will. Subscribe to every channel you guys have. <laughs> Thank you so so You're much. Welcome. That means a lot. In fact, we always book our own trips, but after watching so much, I contacted Elaine Edwards. She oh. booked our next yeah. trip. Thank you. But Thank I you. We really appreciate everything you do. All no. the information, everything you put out, we really appreciate. Well, I appreciate you, Denny. Yes. Can you just wave? <laughs> there you go. All right, excellent. Yeah. No, thank you so much for booking with Elaine. Thank you. That yeah. means a ton. Yeah. Means a lot. Yeah, so. but we want to support the business because I know it's hard. It is, it's yeah. It's really hard. We've watched a lot of people lose their business because it's bad. It means the world to me and, and the rest of our team. I can well, I can say that much. Well. So thank you. Keep up so. the good work. Yeah, I'm so glad I just wandered around this way. I am yeah, too. we certainly yeah. are. How and nice! We're glad we got the wave to do. Yeah, so. yeah, and I'll keep an eye out for Rhino. He should be getting here in just a little bit. Well, we so, sure will. We'll keep yeah. an eye out for him as well. Absolutely. Okay, so. great. It was so nice meeting you both. Nice nice Thank you too. again. You're yeah. Welcome. Hope you enjoy Regal Eagle. <laughs> well, I think we will. You will. Good. Thank you. Good. Yeah. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh yeah. Tell Take care. I absolutely will. Bye bye. And there goes Denny into the unknown. She's gone. She's gone. The paintings don't change every year. Looks like they're finally here at the end of the people trying to get in for the Animation Academy. The paintings don't change every year, but they do. Uh, they they do sometimes add one you know they've, they've added a couple throughout the years and they now like the last one i think they added was that peter pan tinkerbell neverland one that we we didn't go by and see but was off in the distance there is denny tall enough to go in alone i don't think so i believe denny needs an adult with her she needs some supervision at all times Okay, I might walk down a little bit and then come back and show off what's happening here. I'm not going to draw just because I can't do both at the same time. But walk a little bit down here. Yeah. I think I oversold how many people are actually in there now. It looked like a very long line. But it turns out the amount of people in here is basically the exact same as would be if it was mariachi cobre performing or or uh voices of liberty so that was uh that was my bad on thinking that it was going to be busier than it is so maybe they won't actually add more times but you know doing it out here like this it is way more accessible when they would do it indoors a lot more people are getting the chance to do it so very very cool very good stuff very good
Did Jackie do something important? I mean, Jackie always does important things. Like right now, she's working on her day off, but I want to know what else important that she did. Ah. Latte and donut pairing. Ah, gotcha. M&M donut. Interesting, interesting. See, yeah, it's just... Donuts. Donuts. Got cloudy skies. I will not get anything else today. So there's our next, uh, here's our next butterfly. <laughs> there we go. Had to do it. Had to give you one. Uh, where is the rest of the team? I'll explain in a second before I get to that. I'll just get it out of the way now because I know I'm probably gonna get like at least five or six questions about it. My mask is from my friend Arlene who is currently in the chat here. And it is from her Etsy store, etsy.com slash dress the park. It's like a pun to play on dress the part, but dress the park. And that is where my mask is from. You're very welcome. And where's the rest of the team at now? Corey is at his house. I will give you his address in one second. And Rhino is, I don't know where Rhino is, but I know he's going to be here. I just don't know where he is. Hi, <laughs> how are you? Very good. Nice to, nice to see you too. Denny? Denny is inside the drawing thing right now. I'm not quite sure where she sat down. Oh, she's right there. She's wearing the white shirt and a little sweater, kind of right in the back. Oh. Yeah. My wife is a huge fan of you. You guys are the worst. Pete isn't here today. He had a uh, he had a doctor's appointment that he forgot about. So he was supposed to be here and then texted right before. Said sorry. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. You're welcome. I'm huge fan. Thank you. I don't know anything about you guys, but like I said, Tina's a huge fan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, you are very welcome. No, I'm sorry, Denny is where? Yeah, Denny is. Yeah, you see Denny? Yeah. You want to get a. She'll do a text, right? She absolutely will. Yeah, go say hi. For sure. It was so nice meeting you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, well, as we just said, Denny is... Denny's right there. Right in the middle of the frame. Sitting there in her white shirt. So I lost her there for a second. There she is. So Denny's there and Rhino is somewhere on the way here. Corey's at home. Again, not giving you his address quite yet, but I will in a second. Uh, Fiasco is on his way around. We already just saw him about 15 minutes ago. And then Jackie's at home. I don't have her address, so I can't help you there. And Pete is probably back at home now from his doctor's appointment, but didn't want to come over because of that, so.
man. I was, I, I'll, I'll come back when it's closer in. I can't just stand around here anymore. Corey and I have the, uh, we have the same work ethic, not Fiasco and I, but Corey and I. And that's like, I can't just hurry up and wait. I can't just get somewhere and stand around and wait. Unless it's for like something truly important, like the very first time that a, a show is debuting or a, a new edition, anything like that, then I can, I can hurry up and wait. But I can't, I can't just stand around and wait for something like watching Donald Duck getting drawn. A lot to cover in very little time. Yeah, this is uh, Okay, we've got Acme Archives over here. So we've got a lot of our Star Wars inspired pictures. Very, very nice there. Uh, the All the butterflies and the pictures, those are all meant for Festival of the Arts. It's, to take your picture in front of them is an expression of art. Of course, here we have, uh, we have the Mona Lisa on the right and we have the Scream on the left. One has been here many, many years over and over. Oh, thank you very much. Nice to see you too. We have the Italian booth here with the arancini and the lobster ravioli and the donuts. Cream filled Italian donuts. Go around to the other side so you can get a shot of it. Yeah. Oh, hey, dude. So good to see you. Yeah. Been forever. I know, I know. Yeah. Since it was right before COVID, you know. I know. I know. Was, I, who knew? That was like the last time I think I was out at a bar. Yeah, me too. So. I haven't been to, I've been to restaurants, but outside. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. wow. How are you doing though? I'm good. Good. I'm good. Doing all right. Yeah. yeah I should have picked it up. Wanting to hang out, but yeah. There's no opportunity to hang out really. I know. Hopefully soon. Yeah. yeah. So. Are you guys uh, live streaming today? Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, just taking it easy, walking around. You get a lot of good pictures. It's, it's so it's overcast. So yeah. It's, 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 it's kind of like a fashion on the track of dog. Do you mind if I show you all? You don't have to? Okay. So, if you're on Instagram, you need to start following Hot Dogs at Disney. Um, it started. Did it start with Hot Dogs on the People Mover first, or was it Hot Dogs at Disney? Yeah. Yeah. And now it's all over the place. So, if you see someone just carrying around random hot dogs, uh, eight pack of Oscar Mayer. I don't remember what your favorite brand is, but. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's so ridiculous, but you need to go follow Hot Dogs at Disney. It is, it's hilarious. It's absolutely hilarious. So do that, please. Okay. Let's come over here and get a shot. Some of these. The arancini, the lobster ravioli, and the donut. They all look good. Okay. 
Now I'm going to, I'm gonna head back to the American Gardens Theater so we can get a view of them doing the drawing. Uh, the Diz. Oh, very cool. Thank you, you too. This is called Vlogger Inception when you follow around Laughing Place. Oh, this is, and this is following us around too. Everybody say hi to It's all good. I'm I'm friends with Jeremiah. Where are you going? Okay, we finally made it. Kate, I think you're talking about Sam Carter. We looked at his art a little bit earlier here, back over at Wonderground Gallery, but he's not here yet. He'll be here in, a, in about a week. Do we think it's Ulu Mel that they're drawing here, Craig? It is uh, Donald. Oh, it's Donald. Donald. This is like watching paint dry, but it's actually like watching art being drawn. <laughs> Something like that. That's what it's there for. Yeah. Okay, I can't anymore. I gotta keep walking. I, I just gotta walk. I've gotta walk. Because I need, I am halfway, halfway around now. And I need to get the final way around, all the way around, not the final, that makes no sense. I need to get the full way around and then show off just a little bit more back in future world, so. Got to make some progress here. I'm, uh... Just running, running out of time. It is so weird that so many of the pavilions still have all the Christmas decorations up. You know, maybe I just don't remember years past here, but it just feels like there's more up than there ever was before. But I guess they usually do have like the, the castle lights up for marathon weekend. And this is what, this is what weekend marathon weekend would have been if it wasn't a virtual event this year. But what's hilarious is on our local news, they still keep like giving the weather forecast every day and they still keep mentioning like, well, if you're running the virtual Walt Disney World Marathon at home. And that just makes me laugh every time I hear like, it's, that's, they never give us any updates about any other virtual races that are happening, but they're doing it for the Walt Disney World Marathon. Enemy Inc. is back again, doing their, uh, their 
their shirt. The uh, screen print on demand shirts, which are always fun. Souvenirs made right in front of your eyes. Gotta love that. Always adds a extra level of special when you're watching your souvenir be made. But that's just my opinion. Feel free to disagree. Hey, how are you? What's that? No, no, no. No, it's a live stream. So. Yeah. Today it is. It's nice to meet you too. Yeah. Take care. Okay. Next booth. Cuisine Classique. See what they have going on here. I can't get to the uh, pictures because it's over by the exit, but this is a uh, red wine braised beef short rib. The, hey, how are you? The uh, Coq Alvin and the opera cake. I like a good opera cake. Very nice, cuisine classique based on classic art of the 18th and 19th century. Very nice. Again, I would love to go and show you the pictures of it, but I can't, I can't get there easily. Got the names in their normal spot that usually is. Opera, 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 opera. I guess you can kind of get to opera with it. Got half to paint, half to paint, half to paint. Just gonna repeat everything like three times now. Just feels right. We have Paolo Gracie, beautiful stuff there. Very pretty. Very pretty. And the art of Greg McCullough. Disney artist Greg McCullough. Got, I like that one because it's kind of, kind of runaway railway inspired in a way. It's pretty. It's fun. Very nice. Very nice stuff. What's up, Sam? We already took a look at your artwork earlier. Looks good hanging up. It was just missing a little bit of uh, Sam there. So we'll fix that soon. Okay, refreshment outpost. Got some stuff here. The plant-based bratwurst and the warm brown sugar stuffed pretzel with banana soft serve ice cream. I... I could get into that solely for the banana soft serve. I love banana ice cream. And I apologize, Trey, that I did not pick up on your Fresh Prince of Bel-Air joke. I, I have not watched Fresh Prince in forever. I, a lot of like old sitcoms and stuff, I don't actually like put on HBO Max or or Netflix or Hulu or anything. I I watch I still watch stuff the old-fashioned way on cable. And if it's not regularly on cable, then I don't watch the old stuff. I do need to catch up on Fresh Prince though. It's been forever. We've got Pop Gallery here. Which is I didn't even think about it. Like Pop Gallery is here, but they no longer have their store at it 
Disney Springs since now the Pop Gallery is where Everglaze Donuts is. No eating and drinking today. Not after I already, no drinking basically. I already did my eating before I started this, but I'm still on dry Friday. My wet weekend doesn't start until Saturday. And I'm sorry for saying wet weekend. I forget who, who came up with that. Whoa, okay. Now we are truly, we're getting towards the end here because I just got the 20% notification. So I've got to start, got to start picking up my, my speed up just slightly, just ever so slightly. But let's look at China here. What do we got? The painted panda. They have a pork and water chestnut meatballs served with taro root. And Sichuan red hot mala shrimp, ten fifty. Louise, for ten fifty, somebody better be feeding me the shrimp. But then again, I also don't want that because, you know, cleanliness. So I guess I don't know what I want. My gosh, the wind is back. Clearly, Frozen Ever After is down right now. And Did that happen already? Or is this one that's happening? I don't remember. But either way, can't get on Frozen Ever After right now. Uh, it has felt, the crowds have felt a lot better moving uh, right now through this part of World Showcase. It did feel busy at times, like especially back by France and Morocco. Felt really busy back there. This is, uh, this isn't too bad. I'm okay with these levels here, but I, I'd say that's the best way to describe the crowds then. It's comes and goes. I've got the uh, Frida little set up there where you can get behind there and pose in front of her hair and her eyebrows. I guess that is the case. Most people did follow me when I went to Canada. And now I'm probably going to get a lot of questions about why would you start at Canada, you monster, when Mexico is so much better and has margaritas and everything else. Well, A, I'm clearly not here to enjoy myself. So... It doesn't really matter which way I start in that sense, but I am pro Canada solely because there is nothing more disappointing when doing like a drink around the world, even if you're not stopping at every country, but just some of them, there's nothing more disappointing than getting to Canada and ending it. Oh, this wind is so bad. I apologize for the noise here. Even if I would have had my headphones on, this still would have been terrible. But yeah, so you get ending Canada, you're not ending with anything good. I know someone's out there is going to say, but La Fin du Monde. No, there is no, there's, there is no way you can compare ending with, ending with a, a margarita compared to, to a beer at Canada. And it's not an offense on Canada. It's, I'm sorry that Canada doesn't get better options it's it's a shame that they don't but uh even then like i love the pub i love uk but i even still with how much i love the pub it's just it's it's not unique enough so that's why i would rather start Hi, Karina. 
I'm good. How are you? Someone told me to say hi to you. Yeah. The Diz. Yeah. <laughs> working on one. They are working together, so he chose four colors. Yeah. The whole experience is $19, and you can get it framed for an extra six. Yeah. And we're gonna be here the whole time. We don't move around, we actually stay right here. Very good, yeah. beautiful. Thank you. You guys are doing great. All right. ah. Okay, back over here at Mexico. This is earlier where I got my uh, pork belly. They also have a chili relleno. And then a chocolate taco. So look for that dining review and you will see the pork belly. And then Pop Eats, this is where I got my tomato soup. But they also have shrimp ceviche and the almond, the almond cake that is multicolored and looks, looks fun. That's the only food. And decently busy line here. That's why when I got here, this was the first thing that I hit before anything else. I tried to figure what was going to have the worst lines. And usually Pop Eats has a bad line. Usually um, the, the booth, I think we missed it because it's like where Hawaii was for the past festivals. But the booth that does all the deconstructed items, that... That line is usually horrendous because it is probably the most artistic of all of the the food that they have here. And yeah, and you know, just a lot of the, the popular ones, they, they just get really, really busy. So Mexico like is always busy for some reason. It's not even that adventurous, but it just, it gets busy. So we have Marvel fine arts here. Very cool stuff. Again, I apologize for rushing right here at the end. But I do not have, I don't have my brick charger. Don't ask me where it went. It's somewhere. All I know is I don't have it with me. So when my phone dies, it's gone. And I've had too many live streams for my comfort. I don't think I'm making any sense with this. I've done too many live streams where it ends right in the middle because I did not realize how low my battery was. So our last spot here is we're just gonna walk to, um, we're gonna walk back over to Future World and just take a Look at the last couple things over in this area. And then we will uh, be wrapped up with our, our walk around. And I know it wasn't the most exciting thing in the world. I hope everyone enjoyed it still and, and had a lot of fun walking with me at Epcot. There's still a lot of good stuff to come from here because we have Fiasco's dining review. I know Rhino and Denny are doing a video from here. I don't think it's involved necessarily with Festival of the Arts, but it's kind of hard to, It's unless it's like an attraction specific video, it's kind of hard not to get Festival of the Arts involved in any way right now, since it has taken over the entire park. But yeah. Yeah, it might be a best and worst of Festival of the Arts. I, I can't, I, I don't know what else they do unless they're doing another um, another one of their attraction reimagining videos that they've done, but we'll just have to, we'll have to wait and see what they come up with. Nobody like caught it. Nobody caught it. Okay, here we've got William William Silvers 
some very, very fine art here. Very beautiful stuff. Very realistically drawn. Over here we got Wyland, Hawaii style stuff with the Wyland galleries. Good, good stuff here. Oh, I am all about this Olaf right here. I don't know how much it costs. I don't know who's the first person that will knock it off, even though it's probably glued down there, but I'm all about that. Got a live painting going on right over here. I believe he's doing a stitch painting, if I can just tell from just looking on, that looks exactly like stitch. It's part of what I love of this festival is when they're when the artists are just hanging out, doing their thing. Like, it's just, it, it's special, I know. I know that it's, you can easily go on online and watch Bob Ross paint as much as you want, but there's something different about seeing it in person, seeing this art come to life. I really love it. What a nice, nice event. And we are almost at the end here, people. So as I'm walking to the last little photo up here, I'm gonna go ahead and give you all the final rundowns. Here's 600 something people watching. Please hit the thumbs up if you haven't done so yet. And make sure you are subscribed to the channel as well too. So that way you get notified when we have new videos and, and you know, it just, keep you in the loop on what we're doing here on this channel and also if you're planning an upcoming trip to walt disney world disney cruise line anything dreams unlimited travel please go to dreamsunlimitedtravel.com and get some help from an agent today here we go van gogh van gogh to dreams unlimited travel because supporting Dreams Unlimited Travel is supporting us here at the Diz. So thank you everyone so much. I'm turning this around right now so I can say bye to you. Turn it around so I can say bye. Okay. Thank you all so much. I appreciate you taking a walk around with me today here at Epcot for the start of Festival of the Arts. Hope you look forward to all the coverage we have to come from this and a little bit more. Sorry, another battery notification. I think I popped out for a second. I hope you look forward to uh, all the coverage that we'll have to come in the, the next month about this event as well. And yeah, just everyone out there, please take care of yourselves. Uh, you know, have a good weekend. Have as good a weekend as you possibly can. I appreciate all the support. I will see you real soon. So until next time, bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye.